Hey, what is up guys and gals? My name is JJ. Welcome back to a bizarre adventure where we're gonna go out and look for some stuff to sell on eBay and Amazon. Hopefully we come out with some good stuff. Uh, I'm still an amateur when it comes to this, so if you're looking for advice, you come to the wrong place. I'm just being honest with you. You have not come to the right place if you're looking for answers. You're more so here to tag along for the ride to see if I find anything and if anything benefits me. Me, me, no, just kidding. No, we're gonna find out together if there's any experts out there that wanna offer their advice on reselling on eBay and Amazon, I welcome it. Because, you know, times are tough and uh, we could use as much advice as, what is this clown doing? I could use as much advice from the community as there there is to offer. I've been struggling for the past two months to find any inventory and it's not just because I can't find it or because there isn't any, it's, it's mostly because I've given up on it. I had a whole month straight where I would go out to pawn shops, to thrift stores, video game stores, used video game stores, and I have come out with basically nothing. The other month there was like a buy one get one sale going on at GameStop and I, I hopped on that because I believe that that might bring some profit and after doing some quick maths it was supposed to bring in at least 20% profit which is not good at least from what I hear from other people that actually are succeeding in it they have to reel in at least 30% profit and yeah I'm not doing that my strategy was basically if I can't find anything at 30% then 20% it has to be and I can't do anything under that because I'm not gonna be putting up all this time and effort just to make 10 cents on Legend of Zelda, you know what I'm saying? This guy just decided to pull out for no reason but I decided to pull the camera out have people tag along on this adventure to see if we find anything good in the Phoenix metro area we're here at Super Pond Cash America I believe they call Cash America everywhere else, but here in Phoenix they're called Super Pun. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside and see what we find. Hopefully we find something good. I we'll be right back. Hi. Got an electric bike. Never heard of the brand. see anything of value. That red one looks nice. Those look like Sony's. Yeah, they are. They're dollars from this tablet. Prices are ridiculous lately at pawn shops. on some of these. No good games at all. That demo disc for five bucks. God damn. If anybody's looking for 2K for five bucks. Or Spider-Man Miles Morales for 50. Jesus. Have a good one. So, as you guys saw, there was nothing really of value or nothing that we could really profit off of. Everything was pretty much priced uh, right where it's supposed to be. I mean, that's just how it's been lately. If you guys saw anything that I missed, please let me know because I'm, like I said, I'm pretty new. I started this uh, side hustle, side business, whatever you want to call it small business in January 16th. That's the birthday of my business. And I started with the stuff that I owned, obviously. That's like the number one, duh. 
advice that every YouTuber gives. Sorry, I didn't mean to say dull, like that advice isn't in any good, but I started with the video games that I didn't want anymore, and uh, it took a while to sell those because obviously they weren't all games that were sought after, but they sold. And uh, I moved on to going to used game stores, seeing if there was anything undervalued. It was never a game that, that I would say, whoa, I can't wait to test this game so I can so I can play it for a bit at least. It was always just a, a game you wouldn't hear about. Uh, that was working out for me for a while, but ever since maybe July, things just went when they, they were going like this, and then went boom. And I've been trying to get creative ever since then, trying to get inventory like at, um, what do they call it, like outlet? No, not outlets, uh, oh, liquidations. I don't know if this is common anywhere else, but here in Phoenix, we have stores called uh, bins. I don't know if this is common anywhere else, but here, I don't know if this is common anywhere else, but in uh, Phoenix, we have places called the bins, not like the Goodwill bins. We also have that. It's more places where they buy liquidation online returns, like from Amazon. They have like days where, let's say Friday is the first day and things start off at 10 bucks and then they start going down until they hits, I believe Wednesday uh, at $2 and Thursdays they use to restock. Most places are like this. I tried going to these places in hopes of finding inventory, but it's just nothing but, I don't know what to call it. I don't want to call it trash because one man's trash is another man's treasure but i don't need a i don't need 50 laptop sleeves you know for five bucks each those basically sell for five bucks on ebay after ebay fees and shipping costs you don't get much from any of the things from in there and like i said earlier you really got to hit that 30 percent at the very minimum and i've seen why that's the minimum too because even when I said that I was making the 20% on GameStop stuff, that wasn't enough. Uh, but anyways, I'm here at uh, another Super Pond, Cash America. Hopefully we find some stuff here. We'll see. Just looking for now. Okay, mijo. Thank we you. have a little white plan with a 10% okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, mijo. So, that's a 3DS, 3DS, 3DS. Maybe a DSi Excel. We have 68 bucks. I'm gonna keep looking, but yeah. Well, nobody wants DSi. Why would they? 3DS is better, plus 3DS and DS games. That we 50 bucks. Series X though. I haven't looked into those in a while. They're all over the place. Yeah, 80, 80, 90 plus 80 for sure. find anything here or strike two <laughs> that's how it's been for me basically and I've actually also have run out of time because it's almost time to pick up the kid from school that's where I'm at I didn't get anything it's embarrassing uh, but hopefully by making these videos I can get some help I will try to make the videos more entertaining in the future what is this person doing I'm going this way I don't know what the hell they were doing but 
Yeah, uh, I'll try to make the videos entertaining so that, that at least it attracts some people. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm going to start making YouTube videos, taking you guys on things that I'm just basically doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe I'll start recording the public, the traffic that we all have to deal with. There is a very nice Mustang in front of me, and it sounds really nice. It's not going very fast. I'm actually having to hit my brakes right now. It's like a 2001, 2002 Mustang. I hate traffic. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if I'm gonna leave in all the frustrating moments, but I hate Phoenix traffic. You can tell that 90% of people out here got their driver's license from the back of a, of a cereal box. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. It's it's whack. You deal with it when you live here. I've actually gone to a point where I'm more at peace with the, the, the fact that I can't control the people that are crazy out there driving like maniacs. Hey, maybe I'll make videos of just driving around Phoenix. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. It, uh, it means a lot. And I'll tell you why it means a lot. A lot of people just say, it means a lot that you made it this far into the video, but I'm gonna tell you why it means a lot. It means a lot because you put in all this effort to make this video. You put yourself on on the spotlight of being potentially embarrassed, uh, potentially saying something wrong or, you know, anything. And you used your time. Without your time, you could have been doing something else. You could have been playing Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, very dope game. Or you could have been playing soccer with your friends. You could have been doing literally anything else and you chose to stick out, watch a video with this dumbass face on it. And that is why I'm grateful. I appreciate that. So thank you guys and gals so much for watching. If you like this video, the next thing you'll say is, I gotta hit that subscribe button. So then I'll be seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.